This is 1934, sir. This is 1934, and you are supporting the brown shirts. No, no, you're actually asking. Directly asking me questions about my per personally about me, and I don't really think that. Well, mate, I don't give a rat's ass what you feel, sunshine. You know what I mean? Doing an accent. Why are you doing an impression of? Oh, I can do whatever I fucking will like, can I? Well, why are you swearing at me? Well, sir, because you're an asshole. You're working for an asshole company that is supporting an asshole country. What's up with that? Okay, look, I can put you through to somebody that can speak to you if you like. Well, go, I'd... sir. Go put me through. Run like a little monkey because there's a banana at the end of the line for you. Hello, my name's Rosie. Um, how can I help you beyond what Dion's already advised you with regard to opposition with Israel? Well, a very good afternoon there, Rosie. How are you, ma'am? I'm fine, thank you. Fantastic to hear. And how is everything going with L'Oreal's support with Israel? Um, L'Oreal, actually, we're a global company. And Absolutely they are. Yeah, quite. Invest in, excuse me. We invest we're in all countries throughout the world, including the Middle East, as equally as we do with Israel. Yes, ma'am. No personal or um, additional investment in Israel beyond any other country that we trade in. Oh, but of course, but in 1998, they actually won the award, the uh, Jubilee Award, I believe, given to them by the uh, then Prime Minister Netanyahu, in fact, which was the highest ever award ever awarded by the nation of Israel to any company and L'Oreal received that award for their support of Israel. That's right, and that was 1998, and with due respect, it's now 2009. So uh, yeah, and we've moved forward, and as we've as in the last 10 years, as I guess, there's been a lot of money pumped into Israel from the company of L'Oreal. As I said to you, we've given you our statement. We are. Oh, really? I mean, what, what statement was that, ma'am? Can you uh, just reiterate what that Dion statement for me? Went through with you just now. Dion didn't say anything at all. He said he couldn't comment. So, would you like to actually comment for me, ma'am, what that statement was? Sure. Look, basically, L'Oreal is a global company, and we trade in. No, now you're repeating yourself. Can you be a little bit more specific Pardon? about what the the, the state? Now you're repeating yourself. It to you. Can you, you be a little bit more specific about what the statement Dion said, because he didn't say those words, ma'am. You're making that up now. I'm not making it up. I think at the end of the day, I can explain to you our position. If you're prepared to listen, I'm happy to explain it. If you're here to debate. That is not what we're here for, and I will have to terminate the call. Well, ma'am, I leave debating to the House of Parliament. They seem to do that pretty well. In fact, that's not the purpose of my call. The purpose of my call was to congratulate L'Oreal on supporting Israel for the deaths of 1,300 Palestinian men, women, and children. Specifically, the 500 or so children that L'Oreal has supported in killing. In fact, some of the babies who were shot right between the eyes by the Israeli troops. Those bullets were partly funded by L'Oreal. What a great company you work for there, ma'am. That's your opinion, and I think really... That's backed we, up by fact. ...they're not going to carry on any further. Well, because that's actually backed up by fact. It's not my opinion, ma'am. It is backed up by fact. If you feel uncomfortable with facts, then that's your prerogative. Not uncomfortable at all. Because I see. If you would let me speak, I can explain to you where we are, what we do as a company, and how we invest our money worldwide. If you'd like to actually listen to what I can explain for you, if you then wish to take on board that... Well, I've done my research, ma'am, but you go right ahead. That's up to you. Well, I've done my research, but you go right ahead if you can prove me wrong. Are you prepared to listen to me? Go right ahead, ma'am. Okay. As I said, we trade in over 50 countries worldwide. Well, you're repeating yourself for the third time now. Okay. You're saying the same thing over and over. If that's all you've got, if this is your, your support for Israel, this is the only weak excuse you've got for supporting a Nazi-like state like Israel that was born, it was born from violence and it is ruled by the gun and the missile. Goodbye. Do you really feel that intimidated? <laughs> Thank you.
Well, gosh darn, I didn't get a chance to ask him what to do with the new 2-in-1 PERT product. Indeed, to do with my hair. Oh boy, maybe next time I'll give him a call and ask him some real hair advice. Is If that's all they've got, if these are the only monkeys that they can pay, they're not paying them enough bananas. Because indeed, I'm going to swing from a vine and say, hey, hold on! Steve Johnson wants to have a fucking pint with you, right, you dumb bastards. <laughs> oh, that's enough for me. Hey, I'm having fun here. Look out for my next video when it happens. Who knows when? And you look out, because I might even call you one day. Oh, boy. <laughs> Leave your number with me at PM, and I just might interview you. Oh, take care, and God bless. Bye for now.